Okay, I must have deleted the video on building the first part of that box. So this is the second box that I'm building. It's a 2x6 box, built the exact same way. My other one was built with 2x4s instead of 2x6s, one with the channels. Um, all I did is took a piece of half inch plywood on the back, built my box, dimensions to fit my window. Um, inside there, that is one inch foil backed insulation. They sell it at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, so all I did was I lined it with that. Um, I did measure and put my holes in it. Uh, and I did that with, and here's the piece of aluminum that I drilled out and there's the plugs down there. And I drilled it with one of these just in a regular drill. You can buy these little things at uh, Home Depot also. This is a four and eighth inch. So that's what I used to to drill my holes. I uh, after after you have the box built like this and lined with your foil, um, you will want to take some uh, aluminum and cut it. This aluminum is only 30 inch, uh, yeah, 30 inches, and my box, my window box, was wider than that. Actually, it's only 24 inches, I think. So anyway, I just laid two pieces down. Um, they just lay right in the bottom and then I drilled right through this aluminum with that same bit um, and I bought that aluminum it's called trim coil um, you can buy that at anywhere that sells uh, siding, softened fascia materials for construction for new homes so this is mastics, performance metals uh, yep, 24 inches by 50 feet long. So I just lined the bottom of it with that, drilled my holes through. Um, then for my channels, um, I actually ha found some calculations online uh, that told you exactly how to space those and how much air volume to go through depending on the size of your box and uh, would tell you how to most efficiently size it. Mine I ended up uh, ripping my 2x4s down about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch to get the ideal air gap. So, And again, I'm building these two different styles to test them to decide which one actually works better in my application. And then I'm probably just going to duplicate that and, and probably do these on a larger scale. So anyway, um, so after and then uh, you can see on this one I've got some pieces cut that go around the outsides and I just screwed that in with some screws. Um, tucked my uh, coil insulation underneath those so it was in there kind of nice and tight. And then I went ahead and just sprayed the whole thing black with some high temp paint uh, made for barbecue grills. And once you do that we can pick it up with the next video where it shows uh, us putting on the uh, the sill sill. That's something that they use in new construction as well. You can get it any uh, anywhere that sells lumber for for construction guys. Um, it's that's the sill material that goes in between the foundation and your green plate when they build your walls. So and your your floor first. So anyway, that's the story on that. And check out the rest of the videos. Okay, one more thing. When I put my channels in. Um, I measured the distance from the top of my foam insulation to the bottom of the glass on the inside of the window. And then I just took some 1 by 2 and ripped it down to be that exact height. I don't remember what it was. But uh, it'll be different depending on if you're using a window or if you're just using some UV protected uh, plexiglass. Which in, in a large scale application that would be a good way to go. Uh, because you can buy it, it'll all be uniform. It'll be lightweight, which I like. But uh, what I did was, is I cut these to length, and then I pre-drilled them from underneath of this up in while they were held in place. I had my wife hold them, and I pre-drilled those, and then I grab or screw them in from the back. So that is how those channel boards are held in place. Okay, I just put in my vent dryer vents, they're four inch. Um, there's one down there as well. I have silicone them in the front. And I also put a bead of silicone all the way around it in the back before I slid it in. 
then once I slid it in I caulked around it really good trying to fill it all the way in. You can see I've got a piece of tape here just kind of holding it at a perfect angle. And then down on bottom I've just got it sitting on a cup and a couple of pieces of paper. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll be ready to caulk and put the window on the front. Okay, my vents are all glued into place with silicone. It's time to put on the seal before I put the window down. You could also just use silicone. I'm going to use this in case I ever need to pull it off. It'll just be a lot easier to take it off. Just taking out the screws won't be stuck. I'll just trim that down to fit and put my window on and screw it in. We should be good to go. Okay, I got my weather stripping on. I just cut it to width and then I tacked it down with my little staple stapler. So ready to put the glass on. Just make sure it's clean inside and that you've cleaned your glass really well. And this just gives you an idea of how I uh, place my window frame on top of the seal sill and then I just screwed it in right through the window frame. Just holds it in place really nice. Okay, I'm getting ready to go out and test. You can see the degrees on my temperatures are pretty darn close. They're within one-tenth of a degree.